Welcome Ultima DIYers. Today we're going to take a look at some bathrooms. Now I'm going to give you three examples today of one bathroom, kind of a little, a little okay, a little mediocre, some problems, and point out to you some of the things I might have done a little different. And we're going to look at a couple of others. One of them is pretty bad. And on the, the last one that I'm going to show you, the gentleman paid about $40,000 to have this bathroom redone. And in my opinion, it's awful. It's, they should have done so much more, especially for that kind of money. And this is not a reflection on that customer. This is a reflection on that contractor. So what I'm going to probably do is I will just, if you're, this is probably the only point you're going to see me until the very end for a little recap. But I'm going to walk through these three different bathrooms and kind of talk you through them. And then if you're a bathroom contractor as well, and you have some things that you see that I don't see, be sure you point them out. I'm learning every day. And I may have missed certain things, or I may be focused on just one thing. So let's go ahead and go take a look at some bathrooms. Okay, so this first bathroom isn't real bad. It's actually, uh, it's got a few issues though. One of them I can tell you is at the very bottom down here on the floor, they did not tilt it. So the problem there is they have an actual, uh, they've got water on the right and on the left. The one on the left isn't too big of an issue, but when they're using the shower head on the right, it tends to run down the glass and right out the top, right out of this. They didn't put enough slope, if any at all. And another problem, they did not put the trim on this door to block the water. And the piece here, the hinge, they're done with just regular screws. And you can see where the customer or someone is constantly kept putting uh, screwdrivers in it to try to fix it. And it, over time, it just keeps sliding back and hitting at the top. Now, this wall could be a little out of plumb. I'd have to put a level on it, but it does not appear to be. I think most of that problem's here. So, looking at the shower, though, I mean, this isn't too bad. They use two pieces, and looks like they just grouted in between. I don't know what I like to put a trim piece on the front, personally, but in it. It doesn't look like they tilted it, but it looks like they actually tilted it back when it should have been tilted forward to let water run away. Same thing on this one. You can see that the water is gathering in the back. So they didn't tilt very well. Now, another thing I noticed I don't really like is this, trend, this piece that they cut here. They really didn't need to do that because if you look down at the bottom, they already cut the bottom. So they cut the bottom to get a full piece. Actually, it would be these pieces that come up. Where if they had cut it a little more, they could have probably brought that down. Or let's see, if they cut it a little, actually cut it a little less, it looks like this whole piece would have fit here. I'd have to pull a tape on it, but it doesn't look like they planned that very well. So yeah, I can I can look at it from back here and tell this definitely would have fit. So what they should have done is trimmed a little bit more off the bottom so that they would drop this line down to here. And then this would have been a whole piece and we would not have had this all the way around. And it would have just your little pieces would have lined up here. So I think that would have looked better, but that's maybe just a personal preference. Now, it doesn't look like they sloped the shower very well. They did on the right, I can see it. But the left looks like this back corner is holding water. And it looks like it's not sloped. It looks like they struggled a little bit there. I did kind of like the detail, though, that they put here, where they put this trim piece in the center. It, it actually, in person, looks really nice. So this bathroom, not too bad. Okay. This is a master shower, 
And at first glance, it looks okay. I can tell you the very first thing I found. Now, they did put the trim on this one, the plastic trim that keeps the water from coming through. But the very first thing I noticed, and you can sell immediately in person, is this whole unit is crooked. I mean, it is extremely crooked. It is leaning way this way. So that's number one. The other big issue in this one is this floor. This floor is extremely steep. So they went from not in, in the last bathroom, not hardly putting any slope. This one, it is a huge slope. And I'm sure in the video, you probably can't really tell just how much slope it is. But the customer is afraid they're going to fall. I mean, it. Uh, I'd have to put a level on it to show you right now, but it is extremely bad. And, there's, and it's a slippery tile, so when you're standing on it, the customer's afraid that they're going to fall. So I've gonna, I'm going to end up having to try to fix this one. And we're thinking about just putting something more like a smaller format tile, regular tile down to try to give you a little more grip. Because the other option is I'm going to have to cut the this layer out and try to move it up. And the problem is the customer doesn't have any more of this tile. Um, at least I don't believe that they do. If they do have some more of the tile, that could be an option or if they know where we can get the tile. So you could do that. But things that really annoy me are things like the niche. So niche. I hate this, the way they left this open. They didn't trim it at all. They should have used the Schluter trim piece here. You know, this whole thing cut the way it is. I mean, it's it's just, it's nasty. And now on this one, let's see. They do have a slight slope in this one. So they did a good job on the slope. But look at the jagged edges. I mean, the edges are awful. I mean, for a high dollar shower, it should be much nicer. Now they're, they don't have much, they do have some lippage. This one's got bad lippage. So they didn't get that set very well. Got some lippage all through here. Probably hard for you guys to see, but you know, it also, another thing they did is that is not silicone, that's mortar. So they, and the top looks really bad, let me put it out of the way. But that should have been <coughs> silicone. Your corners are always silicone, so you don't mortar those. They're going to crack and leak. <coughs> so even here, these edges where they wrapped it around, they should have put a smoother piece down. It would have made it look. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough going here. They would have. It would have looked so much better. Okay, so this is going to be number three, and this is our. $40,000 shower, or actually bathroom. They have redone it. It looks from here pretty nice. I do like the mirror. It's got the light up frame around it. The tub is pretty cool. Everything in here is not too bad until you get to the shower. So, same type of arrangement as the other one. Now, this one they did put in fairly straight as far as the unit. But that's about where the good stuff ends and they start having problems. For one, the center piece and some lippage and all is awful. I mean, this is really bad. And I'm sure you can see some of this in the video, but it is terrible. Now, I know you do that rustic on some things and some, and some deals, but this was not meant to be rustic. This is just poor installation. Look at the ends. I mean, this is, that is extremely bad. And it's all caved in. I mean, it's just terrible. So, you know, this was not a good install. You look up at the very top, I don't even know what that is. They've got a big outhang of tile. It's like it, instead of fixing it and straightening it up, they just stuck a piece of tile over it. If you look up at the very top on this side, they left the two before. He just tried to paint the two before. They did put a little texture on the two before. That's about as far as it went. Now, 
This one also, if you look, they did not put any trim. Now the back of this isn't too bad. And that feels like it may be silicone, but it's so far in there you can't tell. But they should have put some sawyer around that, and they did not do it. So it, it just makes it look really awful. I'm also looking here, and I'm, I'm missing grout. I mean, you can see it's just not there. Lots of holes. Holes all over the place. There's one right there, too. So it's really kind of a mess. Uh, matter of fact, I just felt that tile moves. So this whole tile is coming off. Yep. Oh, let's look at here. Let me get close. See if I can get the whole tile's coming off. Oh, great. The whole thing's just lifting up. So it's going to need to be reordered. That's just terrible. The whole front of this is bad. Huge lippage problems. This thing's awful. And the kicker of all of it, well, look at the bench. That bench is bad. Water is probably going by. This gentleman has had problems with water leaking into the downstairs. And what is the edge? Take a look at that. So, I guess you miscut it. So, we don't fix it. We just go ahead and try to mortar the hell out of it. And they did it on both sides. Let's back that up just a little so you can see. I mean, terrible. Oh, my. And, that's, and I did not have any mortar with me. That, that probably needs some mortar put on it. Golly, that's going to be a job. Now, the one thing that really sticks out I want to show you, though, is on these edges, you usually put some Schluter trim. Look at the sheetrock all the way there. So no Schluter trim. He just terribly put the sheetrock and didn't even really sand it. I just threw paint over it. Awful. So... Even in this side, if you look here, without the Schluter trim, and they miscut that and stuck a bunch of mortar in, which tells me they probably didn't use any silicone. They mortared it. And look at this piece right here. Very bad. I mean, it's just, it's just awful. And I feel really bad for this customer because he paid really good money. Yeah, just not good. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Honestly, I think this shower needs to be ripped out and redone. But I'm not looking forward to it because God knows what they did behind it. Who knows if they even waterproofed it. I may find just concrete board if I even find that. So I'm hoping they at least use some red guard or something in here. Okay, guys, there you go. There's three showers. Um, you know, I'm, I tend to be very uh, particular about my bathrooms when I redo them, and I want them to be good. I want them to last a long time. Obviously, the person or persons who did these did not really care. They just wanted a paycheck. Don't be that contractor. You know, uh, do the best possible job you can. That third bathroom, the, the second one, I'm probably going to end up just doing the tile on the floor because the walls don't look too bad. But the third shower is really bad, and that's the one that the customer has spent the most money on, which is really sad because the person didn't do the job correctly. Um, it's going to, there's going to have to be a bunch of things done on that one. I have a feeling that all that tile is going to have to come out, and God knows what's behind it. But anyway, I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit about tile and what it should look like if you didn't already know. If you are a bathroom or tile contractor, you know, be sure you leave some comments. Let me know what you saw and what you think, because, you know, your eyes may be different than mine. I may have been focused or hyper-focused on one thing. You know, every time I look at it, I would see more. So uh, if you're watching the video, you may spot things right away. Other people would like to, you know, look at that and probably learn from your comments as well. 
if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, be sure you hit that little bell notification so that you know about all of the videos as they're being released. I appreciate it and look forward to seeing you guys the next time.